Okay, so this is definitely the last time I'm talking about Botamo. This is the fourth time I'm talking about this motherfucker. After this, I don't want to talk about Botamo anymore. This episode of Dragon Ball Super in the anime, I felt Botamo still sucks. He sucks because, I mean, he got beat in, what, a few minutes of the first round of the tournament or whatever. But I'll say the anime did it slightly better than the manga. And just looking at the fight in general, it's like his ability seems to be that he has some sort of Kamui type of deal. If you've seen Naruto, Kamui is where it sends things to another dimension. So, like, Goku's attacks and everything were being sent to another dimension. But I think he has to concentrate in order to activate it. It's not just, like, automatically activated because when Goku went and grabbed his legs and tricked him and shit like that he was like whoa he got bamboozled so i think that that's more so a mental thing that he has to focus on the ability itself is kind of interesting and to be honest with you just like goku said if it wasn't you know a tournament-esque type of deal he probably would have stood a fair chance against goku in a sense because how the hell do you get around that i mean maybe destructo disc his fucking legs off if you get a shot or something like that well you know what maybe if that ability he has to focus on you you can probably outmaneuver him or something like that there's a possibility there but in essence botamo still sucks i mean he's sucks slightly less but overall he's shit then jumping into frost's character honestly i felt very awkward watching this episode to see the guy that looks identical to frieza the tyrant of our universe universe 7 you know he's a tyrant he'll kill anybody he'll fucking take a shit on your fucking grave frieza's just you know he don't give a fuck to see him there like ah yes universe 7 people welcome i hope we all have a great thing and walk away friends i'm like <laughs> and then learning more about him and stuff like that it's like i don't know Oh, there's something about these universe 6 warriors where everything is like opposite like you know in our universe the saiyans were bad in their universe the saiyans are good in our universe frieza was an evil piece of shit in this one you know frost is good it's kind of like is there something that they're hiding potentially because okay getting to the bottom of this episode we'll talk more about the other things but looking at this episode and really paying attention it looked as though almost goku was like hypnotized like if somebody used hypnosis and had goku like he was about to go and walk out the ring he was just like zombified walking towards the edge of the ring and then frost deliver that final kick that knocked him out but he looked like he was in a trance so you gotta ask yourself was that frost's ability or was that somebody else playing dirty and somebody's cheating and if frost is aware of this cheating that's going on i'm not sure if he would like be aware of that or not. i mean you gotta think okay he's a pretty decent fighter i would say that frost's ability is probably goku at namek when he first went super saiyan something like that like that's probably where frost's abilities lie but you would think he would know okay something's fishy why would this guy just immediately stop after just blocking one of my hits and walk out unless he's that fucking stupid to not realize that there was something wrong so if he's down with the cheating then what does that say about frost if he's supposed to be this good guy he's like yeah you know i'm gonna fucking all buy you guys ferraris and shit like this nice guy but if he's down with cheating then that means that there's a farce there and that's a facade he's putting on like yeah man i want to fucking save the children i'm oprah winfrey in this bitch it's like something's wrong there and it's fucking ironic and hilarious that they promise to help frost in his crusade of justice if they win the tournament when champa is a god of destruction like kind of like somebody that their job is demolition and they're like well you know what i destroy shit but i'm gonna help you plant some fucking flowers it's like what i thought it was a nice touch using the same voice actor for frost that was for frieza that was kind of cool which kind of makes me think in the dub they're probably gonna just stick with chris Ayers, even though i thought it would have been a nice little touch to have linda young just play frost since you know her role was taken away from her even though everybody hates it and shit i mean for me i'm nostalgic for it obviously chris Ayers is a way better voice for frieza or whatever but i'm nostalgic so i think it'd be a nice touch to bring her back even even though they use the same voice actor for uh, Frost that they use for Frieza, but they're probably gonna stick with Chris Ayers. I thought it would have been cool if they would have showed the hulking second form because he skipped all the way straight to the third form when he went, okay, I'm gonna go into my final form. It would have been nice if he went to the second form, so either he doesn't have that second form or they just said, fuck it, we don't have time for that. So for time restraints, they were just like, let's just skip out of that. But I was like, damn, I kind of wanted to see that hulking, you know, same looking guy, just like big and stuff like that. I mean, you know what the fuck second form Frieza is. And then what Kaba said, it's again making me just like puzzled as fuck like he never seen a transformation of a saiyan at all he's never so either he's a fucking liar and the universe six warriors are all a bunch of lying piles of shit something is amiss there or the universe six warriors really just aren't that strong because botamo he had a cool ability but he got dragged the fuck out the ring like the fat bear that he is when he the poo looking motherfucker frost if it wasn't for that little cheap trick that they used frost would have been dusted as well by a super saiyan goku not super saiyan god not super saiyan 2 not super saiyan 3 not super saiyan blue none of that shit Playing Super Saiyan would have bopped him if it wasn't for the little shit that happened at the end. So, right there. Okay, that 
against two warriors that are weak. Kaba's never even fucking seen a transformation of a Super Saiyan, so they're just normal Saiyan warriors, which means that they've either in their universe never tapped into that potential, he's a fucking liar, something right there, and then you gotta ask yourself, okay, we have a fucking living robot, and then we have Hit. Hit is like our last hope after this for a real credible fight out of the Universe 6 warriors, because I'm not expecting much from the robot, then again, I could be surprised the robot could turn out to be the best of them all, but it would be fucking hilarious. What about if that robot is the Universe 6 version of Oolong, and he's just in that form, and he could do it for longer than 15 minutes? That'd be fucking hilarious. And with all that being said, it was a good episode. I honestly felt they handled this a lot better than the manga did regarding Botamo, and even with the Frost stuff, I mean, we haven't gotten to a lot of that ending in the manga because we already surpassed the manga with the anime, but I felt like the anime just brought it more to life and made it seem a little bit more believable than what the manga did. So I'd say about a seven and a half to this episode. If I'm fanboying, maybe an eight, but probably the seven and a half. It was a good episode. Nonetheless, it's just like kind of a shitty way to start the fights where it's just a ring out dragging him out. And there's only five fighters to begin with. So it's not like we have like, you know, 20 fighters. So let's just get the first couple of them done easy. And then we'll have some really good fights. And then the whole Frost thing clearly outmatched. It was a cheap trick at the end. Either Frost did it, somebody else did it. And if Frost is aware of that, then Frost is a line piece of shit. And we really can't trust the Universe 6 Warriors at all. But let me know what you thought of the episode. What do you think about the animated version of Botamo versus Goku? What do you think about Frost? And what do you think happened at the end i think that that was hypnosis but do you think it was frost that did it was it somebody else that did it and your thoughts of the episode in general but thanks for watching if you enjoyed anything about this video make sure to drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram stalk my facebook if you want more from me when the video ends i'm from that world and as always people have an awesome day